So, Tom, welcome to Ireland. Welcome to the League of Ireland. How have you settled in at Shamrock Rovers so far? Ah, it's great. I love it here. I love the people. I love the, uh, the country. It's great. Um, the guys in the, in the squad are fantastic. and treated very well, so I'm liking it. My wife likes it. Uh, we like it here very much. Yeah, and you, I was reading about it earlier on today. You've had a very interesting career, more interesting than most probably players in the League of Ireland. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about where you've played. I know you've played in the US, Canada, places all over Europe. You know, I played, uh, I started uh, first in you know, university in the US, uh, you know, typical North American route. Uh, and then after I, after I graduated, I started signing the MLS. And then, and then I actually quit football for a year. Uh, I started working as, uh, in the business field. And then I just missed football, so I decided to come back. And then I had stops. Uh, back in the U.S. and then I came over to, to Europe to Moldova and then I went back to the U.S. and then I had an opportunity to go to Finland so I went to Finland and had a great year you know transferred to uh, Sweden again had a great year transferred to Israel I was there for a couple of years and then I missed uh, I wanted to go back to, to Europe to Scandinavia I really liked uh, Sweden I didn't have the opportunity right away in Sweden so went to uh, went to Finland and then you know had an opportunity in Sweden to open up, so I went to Sweden. I had uh, you know, a decent year. As, you know, overall as a team, we, uh, we didn't uh, perform like we needed to. Uh, and this opened up, so I just jumped on the opportunity. Yeah, what made you jump at the opportunity? Because you've never been to Ireland before, I heard. No, no, never been to Ireland. So it's something that uh, you know that intrigued me. I heard so many good things about uh, Ireland as a whole. So it's something that I really, you know, we live one life. So I wanted to experience it. I wanted to. Uh, Enjoy it, and how can you say no to the biggest club in, uh, in Ireland? You know, and it's speaking the most of the successful team, it's speaking you know, of that most successful team, we're standing in Tallaght Stadium. Yeah. You're living in Tallaght. How have you found living in the local area? It's great. Listen, I'm close to. A, I live uh, in Dublin. I take Lewis. It's 45 minutes uh, into the city. It's anything I need. I have right around me. It's if, if I need anything else, I just rent a car. I have a car. Yeah. Just get around and I love it. And how has Shamrock Rovers? It's only been pre-season so far, but how's how's the level of football and teammates compared to? Like to Finland, and Sweden. What you, uh, you know what? Uh, honestly, the the quality of the guys on the team is, is very good, much higher than than, than what I thought. And uh, you know the the lads that the uh, that the gaffer brought uh, this year is, is top notch, not only in terms of uh, players, but in terms of personality. And I think that's uh, that's most important because if you if you want to succeed, it's not only the physical attributes. I think it's also the off the pitch things and, and the type of characters that you have in the, in the locker room. And uh, I. We're, we're second to none. And you've got quite a young manager at Rovers, Stephen Bradley. How have you found working with him so far? I love it. I love, uh, I love working uh, for him. I love, it's, not, it's not honestly so much working for him. He, he works uh, with us. We, we work together. He's always asking for, for opinion what we think. And, and he, wants, uh, he wants us to play football. So, yeah. uh, you know, as a player, how do you not uh, like that? You have a young manager who's hungry. Uh, he wants to succeed. He has, he has high ambitions, not only for himself but also for for the team, and he and he puts us uh, he puts us first. So it's it, it's a delight to to work uh, for him. Yeah, and this Friday night, first league game, mm -hmm. you're facing a team which one of your former clubs played last year in the Europa League, Maccabi. Have, have you heard much about them, Doc? Have you seen much? Yeah, listen, I've seen them uh, in Europe uh, in Europe this past season. They've had uh, you know a good run for the last few years, and uh, they're, they're a good quality side. They built up towards that, so. Uh, there's a reason why uh, they've been successful because they took uh, the necessary steps, just like what uh, Rovers are doing. Yeah. And I think that it's uh, it's great. Listen, if you want to be if you want to be the best, you have to you have to play with the best and you got to beat the best. So it's it's uh, we've been uh, itching, you know, to uh, to get started. It's been a long preseason, and we're we're hungry, we're excited. And listen, it's the best way to start is against the champion. So how can you not uh, yeah. be excited and uh, be fired up for it? And many people are tipping Dundalk, Cork and Shamrock Grovers as the three favourites for the title this year. Has Stephen set any expectations, big positions, and have you got any personal expectations for your first season in Ireland? Uh, you know, we as a team, we want to, of course, do better than, uh, than, than what we did uh, the last couple of years, you know, because I know that uh, Grovers being the, you know, a big, strong club, uh, finishing fourth last year is, uh, is not, uh, I don't want to say unacceptable, but maybe it is unacceptable, right? Because, uh, you know, there's bigger things that are, uh, geared for us, so I think that uh, you know we have high ambitions to, to finish, uh, of course, higher than what we did last year. And uh, uh, I think that uh, you know it's it's achievable, of, of course, with we as a team and the players that we have and the quality, uh, both on and off the pitch. It's it's important. And uh, in terms of personal, I won't listen. The most important thing is that is I see us uh, as a team succeeding. And if the team succeeds, then I succeed. And finally, just looking slightly past this Friday. Your first game in Tala in the league will be against Bohemians of Dublin Derby. How excited are you looking 
excited are you for that game? Uh, listen, I heard, uh, first of all, I heard uh, you know, the matches against Bulls are always electrifying. Uh, second of all, even if, you, even if I don't know the actual teams in the league yet, it's a derby. And I played in several derby, derbies before, and I know exactly what a derby means to the city, to the fans, to the organization. So it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just geared up. I'm so excited. But first and foremost, we have to make sure we, we bounce really have a match this Friday. And the moment that we pass, uh, you know, after uh, 90 minutes on Friday evening, then, uh, then we'll start getting ready for the following Friday. Because, you know, you, know, you'll, you'll open up the moment just like we're playing against uh, the Dalton in the first match against the you know, uh, champions of the last few years. You know, they're pretty, uh, pretty stage contenders. Home, home, uh, home openers against uh, Bulls. Derby match. Uh, everybody is uh, on fire and ready, and uh, you know we worked really hard during the preseason. The guys are, the guys are, have worked really hard, and we're just uh, excited and we're ready. Thank you.